everybody welcome to my channel uh, today we're going to be installing and doing a quick review of the last fit uh, TWT 21W LED bulbs um, I've heard a lot of good things about these and of course the stock regular bulbs in the Maverick for backup bulbs really aren't that bright I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like and then we're going to go ahead and switch these out I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this Alright, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to switch out the uh, reverse lights. I'll go ahead and change one side out, and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the stock bulb versus the last fit. Alright, first of all, what you're going to need is either a Phillips head screwdriver or a 5 16 inch wrench, which I'm going to use because I think that'll be a little bit easier. There's a bolt here and a bolt here that holds your light on. You're going to go ahead and take those bolts right out so you can pull your lights off. Alright. I got both screws out. You see, you just grab a hold of the light, you just pull it out like that. And this is, of course, your reverse light here in the center. We're going to go ahead and pull that out now. That just twists like so. Go ahead and pull that out. See, that's just your standard type of light bulb there. We're going to go ahead and pull that out now. It's usually better to do this with some sort of rubber glove so you don't get oil on your bulb. But with any luck, I won't be putting these bulbs back in. Just wiggle them loose a little bit, and there you go. One thing you'll notice too with the last fit, these don't have any polarity to them, so you can't put them in backwards or the wrong way. Like the stock bulb, see how they have it a certain way? And of course, we're gonna make sure we get those in there. I'm trying not to touch any of the LEDs. And they should fit right in like the stock bulb. They're a little bit bigger, like I said, so we'll go ahead and screw those in. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Just got to get it lined up correctly with the slots and the light. All right, we got everything back in the grooves. You just get it in there lined up okay, and we're going to go ahead and install this back in now, and then we'll test out side-by-side -side comparison. And of course, one thing I'll show you folks before I put it all back together, there are two spots here that just push in on this side too. Don't snap them off. Don't try to force anything out. Like I said, it's the two screws that are holding it in, but you also have these on this. And just a word of advice, it's easier to hold, put this light back in if you just kind of take your hip and hold it. And see, so actually, you can probably pretty much do this one-handed. Like I said, you can use a, flat, a Phillips head screwdriver or a 5 16 inch uh, wrench. All right, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. We're going to start it up and put it in reverse. Remember, the last fit is on that side. The stock bulb is on that side. Let's check it out. Now there's definitely quite a big difference between the last fit and the standard bulb on right, the Maverick. Both bulbs are installed. Let's go ahead and start it up and check out how the reverse lights look now. Then I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like from your backup camera on the dashboard. Yeah, those are definitely better than the stock bulbs were. Most of you that have the Maverick know how bad the stock bulbs were. They're really hard to see out of the uh, backup camera. And of course, I have no fault codes or anything showing up, so that's always a good sign with these LED bulbs. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning into my video. If you're interested in the Last Fit bulbs, any other products, or if you're just interested in the backup bulbs, uh, go ahead and click on the links down in the description for the bulbs, and you can use the code Lawson Ranger 10 to get 10% off your order through Last Fit. Thanks for tuning in. I should have more Maverick videos and more Last Fit videos coming out. Bye for now.